Yes, thanks, BAFTA. Thanks, everybody else. <coughs> uh, shall we take a look at what's coming up in the show? All right, so first of all, we're going to look at a brand new car pack. That is the Barrett Jackson car pack. We're then going to do a deep dive into the Update 8 Festival playlist, uh, along with taking a look at the new Showcase remix. We are then going to look at uh, new mode Drift Adventure, Drift Adventure, all new multiplayer mode. Uh, Chris is here as well. He's going to take us through uh, how what goes into building the, the world perfect Drift tune. Um, so get your notepad out because he's going to give you a lot of info, um, a lot of very, very, very good info. Uh, we're going to talk through some updates to online adventure um, before we're going down into some bug fixes, other, other things that are coming out in Update 8 that you should be excited about, and then a look into the future. Uh, we're going to finish off with a Q&A. So uh, this is a new thing for us. We're going to be having a little section at the end where you guys can ask questions, and we will do whatever we can to answer them. So if you want your question to be answered, uh, if you fire in the chat on Mixer and say, hey, Tom, you'll be speaking directly to uh, one of our producers off cam there. Um, then give him your question, and he'll pull those together, and we'll answer as many of those as we can at the end of the show. Uh, I should clarify at this point that there are some things uh, that we simply cannot talk about, um, either legally or contractually. There are things that uh, we just can't engage on. So if we don't answer your question, uh, it's probably not that we've ignored you. It's probably that we actually just can't even talk about that to say that we can't talk about it. So um, please, please bear that in mind. Uh, anyway, shall we jump into the new car pack, the, uh, yeah. the Barrett Jackson car pack? Chris, what are we looking at? So Barrett Jackson are uh, an auction house in America, <coughs> and they kind of specialize in they're kind of an awesome like car show crossed with uh, auction and things like this uh, come up in it so this is the 1932 Ford Double Down this this thing's probably my favourite of the, of the pack and it was uh, sold just right out of the factory in 1932 like this yeah yeah this is <laughs> totally stock nine and a half litre V8 <laughs> uh, so this is a very customised 1932 Ford um, you can see the front diff hanging out the front uh, out the front there um, this is all wheel drive, um, 850 horsepower, weighs in at about 1,000 kilos. It's a rocket ship. It's on slicks. The guy that built it built it with the idea in mind of being able to do as many motorsports as possible with it. Um, how, um, how much of the original car do you think is still in there? About 1%. <laughs> <laughs> at what point does it become a new car? Yeah. Uh, should we take a look at uh, some of the other cars? Yep. So we've got that one, and another particular favourite of mine is the... Atomic Punk. Yes. So jump in that. Beautiful. This thing is, it's amazing. It really harks back to kind of 1950s, 60s vibes. Um, is it, oh, what was his name? Ed Roth. Um, it was a big name back in the uh, 50s, 60s for cars styled like this. Um, so this took a right, lot of inspiration from that um, with the bubble top. And yeah, those fins on the back. I mean, it really looks like something out of the Jetsons, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. the atomic it, age that never arrived. Do we, do we know how you get into it? Ah. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> and you've just got to climb over the back there. <laughs> yeah. Be, it's scuffed the paint. You've got to be quite young and fit to get in there, don't you? Yeah, imagine, the, imagine the, 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 the journey your legs just took as you slid in <laughs> over the side there. Oh, there is a second seat. <laughs> I didn't think there was one. <clears throat> and then uh, mm. you can obviously see where you're going with the... Uh, what should I take out? giant engine sitting in front of you. <laughs> oh, I mean, who needs to see anything on the right hand side of the road? Safety. <laughs> who needs safety in your hot rod? No mirrors either, I don't think. I guess, who needs mirrors when you have a 360 degree? Exactly. Yeah. You just look straight out the back. <laughs> you probably see the reflection in the dome. <laughs> the Those reflections. <laughs> can see exactly where I'm going right now. <clears throat> so yeah, that's just a couple of the, uh, the Barrett Jackson cars. There's seven in total. Mm -hmm. uh, seven in total. Seven in total. Yeah. yeah. So Barrett Jackson car pack comes is available from Thursday, I believe. Uh, if you have the uh, Forza Horizon 4 car pass, so that's either you bought it on its own or you've, you're an owner of the Ultimate Edition, then you will already own this car pass. That'll be available to you for free. Uh, if not, uh, then you can either purchase one of those two things, uh, or you'll be able to purchase the car pack uh, on its own. Um, not entirely sure on the price. Probably, I'm sure a very reasonable price, maybe five to ten of your local currency. Um, <coughs> I, I don't have that actual today. <laughs> um, anyway, what's next? Um, are we taking a look at the showcase? I think we're going to look at the festival playlist. Yes, OK. Let's okay. jump to it through there. Yeah, so uh, we've been setting up festival playlist. We should be in summer already, I think. Yeah, we are. Great. Again, we should probably say this is a dev build, so uh, things mm. may be uh, not quite as we intended. So Festival yeah. Playlist uh, was launched uh, last month, and uh, you guys let us know loud and clear your, your thoughts on it. And we uh, released a hotfix uh, mid, 
uh, mid-series, which uh, re-evaluated some of those targets and made things a little bit easier to earn. Um, I think yeah. we've taken a slightly different uh, approach to those now. Uh, Matt, well, we, we've got the 80% targets right from the bat, off the bat this time. So yeah, you can see here that 80% uh, completion of Series 8 will get you the Crown Victoria, which we know to be very popular. Uh, some of you may have already acquired it through Wheelspin, but now is your chance if, if you've not been so lucky to so grab it. It's never previously been available outside That's of Wheelspin. That's right, yeah. Right, okay, so um, yeah, the Wheelspin gods have so far frowned upon you. Now is your chance. Now is your chance, yep. Um, and you can also see that for 50%, you'll get the Alpha Julia Forcer Edition, which is a very nice car. And then uh, for completing, uh, well, making progress through the summer season, we've got a brand new car to Forza, uh, the Mercedes Benz GT4 2018. Anything to say about that, Chris? Uh, 630 horsepower, kind of a, a four-door version of the AMG GT. Very cool car. Nice. Kind of looks like it's bulging out of itself with power, doesn't it? Yeah. It's like it's <laughs> yeah. a really cool shape. And my favorite Hot Wheels car, the Twin Mill, uh, is also up for grabs for 80% completion in the summer. Another car you can't see out of very well. <laughs> yeah, that's true. We've seen this month. <laughs> uh, we have <laughs> Butzthan that features the Ferrari F40 Competizione. Um, this challenge sort of harks or oh, pays a uh, tr tribute to the fact that it was a Le Mans endurance racer. Uh, new set of daily challenges. We've got a uh, trial called Walk Into My Parlor, said the spider to the fly, because you'll be driving the Arbath uh, 124 spider. Um, we've got some... What do you win on that one? Oh, you get the, the Porsche 550 spider. Carry carrying that spider theme through. That's right, nice. yeah. Um, we've got summer games, we've got some PR stunts, we've got some credits up for, uh, up for grabs, and another new car, the Mercedes-Benz X-Class. Which is not the one in the photo, though. No, it's uh, not. But, so uh, that, uh, the X-Class is the Mercedes-Benz pickup truck. Mm -hmm. really cool. Mm -hmm. cool, cool. We'll take a look at that. And uh, our monthly rivals event is going to feature the Peugeot 205 T16. Uh, it's kind of a nostalgia trip for Group B rallying. It's Ambleside scrambled in the snow. It's good fun. Yeah, I think we, as we, we discovered last month that uh, through Festival Playlist, we've had a lot more players doing a lot more of our stuff. Mm. Uh, last month, uh, the monthly rivals, or the one that's still live right now, actually, uh, has seen more, more, more people attempted than any monthly rivals event for us previously ever. So yeah, um, yeah I think that if you are into rivals, then uh, it's, a, it's a great time to do it because more people are, are seeing it now through this being promoted onto the festival playlist. So tabbing ahead to autumn now, um, we've got the Ferrari 599XX Evolution. I believe that's how you pronounce it, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. we need more down here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, basically it's an evolved version of the 599XX, which was already bonkers. So uh, more downforce. I think it's got the same horsepower, but much more capable car. Really cool. Mm. Um, possibly a new contender for lap record on the Goliath. Yeah, we're running some pretty good lap times in Goliath with it internally. So yeah. uh, if, if that's car. your thing in X class, then give it a go. Uh, also, the Mercedes-Benz 280 SL, beautiful old classic Mercedes. Mm -hmm. uh, Thoughts of Thorn that week features track toys, and then we've got uh, another trial featuring the Aston Martin Vantage. Uh, here is our showcase remix. Um, we'll go into a, a deeper dive in, into that in a minute, I think. And uh, oh, uh, Bad to the Bone featuring the Plymouth Fury, a car famous for its appearance in uh, a horror film, Christine. Christine. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and also because it's just a really cool car. And then we'll tab on to winter, where we've got the, uh, the Chevrolet Chevelle 67. Awesome car. Um, one of my favorite models of the Chevelle, I think. Yeah, it's that's brand new as well, right? The, mm, the that's Chevrolet, right, yeah. yeah. So not been able to get that car before. And the, uh, the Lycan Hypersport made by W Motors, I think. And it featured in Fast and Furious 7, yeah. jumping between skyscrapers. It's got diamond encrusted headlights, things yeah. like yeah. that. So it didn't have a front ender. Yeah. <laughs> Um, we don't have any skyscrapers to jump between, unfortunately. <coughs> you can probably jump day. over a church or something. That's uh, <laughs> basically the same. Um, Forza Audi S1, best car in the game. Um, also Matt's car. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Teradyne Gurkha, also a Fast and Furious mm. car. Yep. Uh, appearing as a reward for the trial. And then we've got some, uh, some quack willies up for grabs. I <laughs> uh, got those in wheel spin last night. So uh, you played yourself. You should yeah. have held on to those wheel spins. You should have known this was yeah, yeah, dodge, yeah. duck, dip, dive, and dodge. The five Ds yeah. of dodgeball. <laughs> <laughs> and then in spring, That's why the duck willies? Are... <laughs> yeah, in spring, the uh, the Vauxhall Corsa makes an appearance. Mm. Uh, Genuinely, one of the cars I have requested yeah. on me the most. Uh, yeah, I think much like you just said there with the the Audi S1 being the best car in the game. 
Probably not. Um, it is. It, <laughs> uh, people love to drive their own cars in a game, and I think that's probably why I have so many people saying to me, well, why do you not have the 09 Vauxhall Corsa? Because if you live in Britain, that is a pretty common car to see on the roads. Mm. So a lot of people won't so, so what I'm taking away from that is uh, if people want their car in the game, they need to like message you personally? Um, they, 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 they can do that, but a more, a more efficient way to do that, because I probably won't read all those messages, is to go to photomotorsport.net and drop your requests in the car wishlist thread, which genuinely does get read and genuinely does steer our future decision making on what cars we include in the game, such as the... Yeah, that, that one came out of that thread. Mm -hmm. And because this series coincides with uh, Easter, we've got a rabbit outfit. Can we say Easter? I definitely can, I think. Uh, Maybe seasonal... Se seasonal egg hunterthon. Um, <laughs> Chocolate egg festival. Rab rabbit based egg hunterthon. <laughs> we'll go with. Um, so there you go, that's something that you'll be able to get. <laughs> Uh, some sports oh, yeah, utility. He's hunting eggs. Look at him. <laughs> sports uh, utility heroes uh, featured in the Forzathon. Yep, you can get some rabbit ears to go with your rabbit outfit. Matt has been willing to tell anyone who will listen uh, that he came up with the name Koenigsegg, Koenigsegg Hunt. <laughs> very, very proud of that one. That was Ryan. <laughs> yeah, that was Ryan. I've got to give credit where it was due. Um, uh, Lancia Delta, that's a, that's a wheel spin exclusive. I yes, think. it is, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and there you go. So that's, that's our, our stuff coming up in Series 8 Festival Playlist. Cool. So, yeah, I think something to clarify in case it wasn't entirely clear there, uh, all of the 80% uh, rewards are are not new cars, so the new cars are all available in other ways now. So mm. if you previously felt that they were slightly out of reach at 80%, we've still got really, really cool rewards at 80%, um, but crucially not the... Uh, the, the brand new cars, so it should, should be a little bit easier to achieve all the, all the new cars. Um, okay, uh, it's time to take a look at the showcase. So, um, guys, do you want to tell us what you're thinking about the showcase? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so, um, the showcase remix is uh, another one uh, that we've added to the game. Uh, we kind of introduced the concept in the series that is uh, out right now uh, with a remix of The Train and The Halo Experience. And this is taking a look at the uh, motocross uh, challenge with the bikes. And the way we came at that was thinking about what would really change the way that experience looked and really change the way that it felt. So uh, in the stock experience, uh, it's a really solid, well-tuned car that just sticks to the track. And we went with something that's a lot more, um, uh, a lot more jittery, a lot more fun to drive, uh, a lot more tactical because you've uh, got to be careful of uh, puddles in light cars because they'll affect it in a way that, that you didn't really... Uh, expect and also uh, looking at weather and time of day and really kind of doubling down on what a showcase remix could be on all the parameters though uh, it also meant that we uh, uh, we had uh, we had fun uh, we had fun difficulty balancing yeah we did <coughs> oh you want me to, to on, give it a go <coughs> okay, so it's you, the you played this through a few times more yeah um, so featuring the Austin Healy Sprite yes. uh, Mark 1 from 1958 but it's been modified to put it mildly, for uh, off-road driving. You, you put what, a motorbike engine into it? Yeah, it's got an inline four motorbike engine in there. It's cram crammed in there somewhere. You can also see our, our character sporting the uh, the new Easter themed That's right, uh, yeah, bunny, cl bunny clothing. I, I dressed for the occasion. Uh, th that, is, that is the happiest car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've got to love the Sprite and its happy little face. Here we are. We'll, we'll as well. This is one of the cars that lets us see the uh, See hats from the outside, so we can, yeah. <laughs> bunny ears, we can right. see his bunny ears. Yes. So here we go then. I'll, uh, so this showcase is, crash. is, I know, uh, in the way it's constructed, one of the, the most complex in the mm. game um, because you're racing obviously against multiple uh, vehicles once. Do you want to tell us a little bit? I mean, and the... actually, but behind the scenes, it is one vehicle, but it consists of four points that kind of hand off the actual position on the track to each other as they drive. Which makes it uh, which makes it quite challenging to actually to actually balance and, and work with. But I think the thing that, that I really that really amuses me about this is that this time of day uh, was actually one of the original ideas for what this the showcase would have been in the stock game. Mm. But we moved away from it uh, because it didn't fit with what we were doing generally. So it was really nice to to explore that idea again in, in the context of a showcase remix. They just kind uh, of I lost a lot of speed through the water there, like like uh, yeah. you mentioned earlier. Yeah. It's uh, it's a lightweight car. You can see I'm sort of skipping around all over the surface of the road, so it's uh, it's, it's challenging. Yes. And uh, I'm I'm happy to report that now, uh, if you like, you can actually thread the needle. That car. Oh, you will. mean uh, yes. go through the pipe there? Yes. 
I wasn't brave enough. No, it's... Uh, it's not wise to do that, line. No, it's, it's, <laughs> no, it's not wise to do that. Oh, dear. Look up, it's tree, it's tree. No, 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 no. Ooh, that, ooh, that was close. <laughs> Matt Reliff in many, uh, many times it has failed at this race though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's very close. You got this, you've done it. Yeah, 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 he's yeah. toast, he's toast. You say that, oh, you say oh, that. Oh, I think he's done me. Oh, oh. oh. let myself down. Oh man. Right, you all <laughs> oh well, you guys can practice at that and do better than I just did. <laughs> but, um, never mind. Yes, so that is available for one week only. Yes, it's in the autumn uh, season, fitting obviously with uh, the season. Yeah, so, so don't miss it. If you want to take part in that <coughs> event, then you have got one week to do it, and then it will probably be gone forever, or maybe we'll recycle it sometime. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> um, while we're uh, drifting around the festival here, <laughs> anything to be good flip on the uh, drift camera? Yeah, so, I think it's already turned on, actually. Uh, let's see. So yeah, we brought this across from Motorsport. It's, Ooh, it's gone down look really that. well look at that. So, with Motorsport 7. Huge thanks to our... Uh, friends and colleagues over the pond at Turn mm -hmm. 10 who implemented this last month into Forza Motorsport 7. Yeah. Uh, that's enabled us to, to, to port that across Ooh. just in time for the addition of Drift Adventure. So yeah, it, really it, nice it, timing. Yeah, it was really really great time for us. <laughs> Huge thanks to everyone at Turn 10 who did basically all of the work to make this, <laughs> to, make this happen. to turn it on, uh, I'll just show everyone where it is. Mm -hmm. It lives in uh, HUD and Gameplay, so you turn it on here. And you can tune it as well. There's a few tuning parameters, uh, how quick it's going to look somewhere and how far the camera can move. Okay. Um, and the sensitivity. But also, uh, Drift Adventure is the other place where yep. uh, you will all need to have been paying good attention there because uh, later on this week, uh, Drift Adventure will be landing in Forza Horizon 4 for the first time. And uh, today we're not going to do live, live multiplayer gameplay because it's always fraught with danger when you're using a development build. Uh, but we do have a video. So we're going to roll a video now and take a look at what Drift Adventure is going to look like. Cool. So, um, Torben, do you want to talk us through what we're seeing here? Absolutely. So, as you said, this is a new kind of online adventure, and it really is about earning drift scores around circuits. We basically took the asphalt circuits in the game and turned them into what are essentially giant drift turns. Uh, the basic rules are really simple. You go in, you do a lap, and the best uh, drift score you get over an entire lap becomes your position. So it's literally about drifting corners and having fun in the game. And, and, that, and the, the reason it's your best lap and not the overall race is because if you stack it into a wall on mm. the first corner, it's not race over, it's yeah. get around the laps quick you can and have, have your next lap be the last exactly. lap. Exactly. And, and it's not even about the number of laps that you do. There are seven minutes and do as many or indeed as few laps as you want to in that time, just focusing on getting the very best drift circuit that you yeah. can do. So the way that it works is when you cross the finish line, you <coughs> bank the score that you got so far on that lap. Exactly. So I think that the baller strategy <coughs> is going to be to do an amazing drift on the first lap and then park up next to the start line. Just find quick chat phrases and on can you As people go past. <laughs> 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 well, I mean, that would be, uh, that would that would really be bold because you would be betting that no one else could do a, do a better lap. Well, you'll notice that you can't grief people. Exactly. Um, so interestingly, uh, we actually went into the, the Discord uh, a couple of weeks back and talked about this this feature in, in when, it, when it was uh, a little bit earlier on in development, when collisions were still on, for example. Yeah, um, and that was uh, the first time <coughs> we've ever done anything like that, really. So if you, uh, if you aren't yet part of the Forza Horizon Discord, I would suggest that you do become part of the mm. Forza Horizon Discord because, um, yeah, Torben and I uh, dropped in there one evening. We basically revealed the, every detail we could uh, about the feature and just had a chat with you guys about it um, and it was it was really good I think we, we, we enjoyed it we had, a, we had a great time and it was at such a point where we, we were still able to make a few tweaks and changes um, to the way the scoring works to the way the championships are put together mm -hmm. um, so yeah if you aren't yet part of the discord I would join it because I'm sure there'll be many more opportunities like that mm -hmm. um, in the future to get involved I mean what specifically came out of it was uh, was an actual call on whether we should go collisions on and collisions off because mm -hmm. right. I mean we, were, we, we had the feeling in testing that, that we were going to see snarls in this kind of situation where collisions would actually not be great. Mm -hmm. But we just wanted to kind of sanity check that and get a sense of, of, of how people in the community felt about that as yeah. well. Yeah. Actually, I was definitely in team collisions off, <coughs> uh, but I needed you guys to back me up, so thanks yes. for that. <laughs> um, so, the other thing... Yeah. Oh, sorry, I thought we were going to move on there. Go on. And the, the other thing that, that came out of that was uh, the way that we actually uh, created the championships themselves. So there are essentially four classes, A and B class, S1 and S2, and within each class there is rear wheel drive and all wheel drive, just splitting those up. Uh, that, uh, you see that when you're going into the adventure, so you can pick the car 
and even the specifically tuned car, uh, as you mentioned, uh, drift tuning uh, is, is very track specific. Yeah, it is, yeah. So, uh, I mean, it's, it's just a huge amount of fun. And we, we, we looked a lot at uh, what we should do in terms of, uh, in terms of dirtying laps, uh, specifically trying to avoid situations where people might turn around and try to get multiple laps without ever going through the finish line. If you do that, uh, you'll get what we call a dirty lap, and you've got to go back through the start to, mm -hmm. to reset it. But I think that's really the only time we dirty laps. Yeah, so any collisions, any wheels off surface is all allowed. Doesn't matter, exactly. Albeit you can't score points when your wheels are Precisely. off surface. Yeah. Um, though uh, Edinburgh, I think, is a, is a perfect storm there because there's, there's racification around the tracks, and everything, every surface you drive on, even uh, tram tracks and pavements and such, we've marked those up so they, they should count as surfaces mm -hmm. you can drift on. But if you do come off the road in, in some of the, the more rural tracks, well, it won't count if your wheels aren't on, aren't on the hard surface. Cool. Um, what I was going to ask is, um, what are the mechanics that go into the drift score, Torben? Can you tell us like what, what, what are the functions of, of scoring? How, how can I get a good score? Mm -hmm. uh, we, we've kind of touched on it a little bit when, when Chris was talking about uh, what to build for. Uh, it's two things. It's the angle of the car and it's the speed that it's moving when it is at that angle. So you basically want the largest possible angle and the highest possible speed. And I mean, that's, I mean, we can see highest some really- po Highest possible speed? Uh, up, up to about 90 miles an hour. Yes, yeah, so, that, that, so that, 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 I think that is key to note <coughs> as well when you are putting your tune together that um, in that, in the equation that is generating the skill score you see at the bottom of the screen there, um, there is a maximum speed over which speed no longer increases yeah. your score. So you do want to manage throttle a little bit, which I think adds just an extra layer of... Exactly, because, uh, I mean... And normal people won't know about that 90 mile per hour limit as well. So you, <laughs> you guys watching the stream uh, have got, inside the have got an, inside, an inside track in order to build the perfect tunes mm -hmm. uh, for, for this mode right now. So, uh, as we said, it's, uh, it's a flat seven minutes uh, on uh, each of the three events that make up a drift adventure. So a drift adventure consists of three events. Mm -hmm. uh, they are uh, thematically grouped. They're grouped by weather as well. Mm -hmm. uh, for, the, for the launch of this, we decided to go with dry weather across the board. Yeah. Uh, so you know going in, is this going to be a winter? Uh, is this going to be a, a winter event? In which case, take a car that will do well in winter. Mm -hmm. But you don't need to worry about a sudden snowstorm coming in because we wanted it to be as predictable as possible. It was one of the things that was raised in the chat as well, just be predictable about the weather. Great. So in this video here, I have not actually watched it all the way through yet, but I think we've got, uh, we've got Andy behind the wheel of the camera car. Yes. Um, so looking at the leaderboard, he's currently in second, and I mm -hmm. believe that GD2 Xbox is you, Chris. Um, so as much as we say, hey, make sure the camera car wins. Um, it's a little bit <laughs> difficult when, uh, when, when Chris, when, Chris just yeah. cannot turn off the competitiveness. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, I had a small car advantage as well. Yes. Yeah, so... You, so this is very similar to the car that you, we've just watched you tune, isn't yeah. it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah driving, And you yeah. are in one of the Formula Drift cars? Yeah, with 1,800 horsepower. Nice, right. yeah. nice. So... <laughs> <laughs> and so, so this, this, is, uh, this is available in uh, unranked and indeed in, in, in ranked uh, mm -hmm. versions. Uh, and because there is such, there's such, a, such a high ceiling uh, on skill in this game, uh, uh, ranked uh, drift adventure is going to be going to be quite, quite something. It's all free for all, no teams. Exactly, free yeah. for all, no teams. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, even though it does sometimes feel like you're in a team, doesn't it, when you're, when you're nailing <laughs> yeah, that yeah, tandem yeah, drift? Exactly. There's no scoring for tandem drifting, but in your head you feel like there is. Yes. <laughs> it's like, you feel like that drift is much better when it was yes. next to another person. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yes, so this, as Torben said, will be available in ranked, uh, and so it will count towards your uh, ranked uh, online adventure part of the festival playlist. So. Mm -hmm. uh, you can, you can tick that off however you like in any of the four types of ranked exactly. adventure, um, this being one of them. So, and I would recommend that you do do this one because it's new and it's cool and it's an extremely fun way mm -hmm. to play the game. Absolutely. Let's talk a little about uh, online adventure, guys. Um, so um, we've been stewing on a lot of changes for a long time, I think. We've been, we, kn we know that people aren't necessarily super thrilled with the uh, current implementation of online adventure. We're always looking to, to tweak and tune and polish and quite happy to announce we've got uh, quite a few uh, pretty exciting changes in this update. Uh, first of those is that uh, the start of every race, uh, collisions will be off for the first 30 seconds, which... Basically uh, take you through the first corner pile up. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's, it, it might, it, admittedly, it's not the most authentic uh, racing experience, um, but it's a, a lot less frustrating and stressful when uh, you have that little window for the pack to spread out, for people to separate out and not have to all ram into each other on that first corner. Um, exactly. 
in uh, dirt uh, or mixed surface, depending on what you'd like to call it, uh, championships. We've removed S2. Um, so uh, yeah, S2 is removed from the top and B class has been added at the bottom. Um, so if you have that pool of cars that you uh, love for online adventure, uh, you best go add some B-class cars because you'll now need them. Uh, and the other thing is that across all uh, asphalt road and street racing championships, we have removed uh, free run rush. Um, so all of those championships will now be uh, three races uh, only on normal festival or street race routes in the street race championships uh, with no free run rush in between. Yeah. Um, yeah, it, it's, it, it's, it's frustrating. I think we identified there were things we wanted to change in Freedom Rush uh, a long time ago. And uh, with every update, we've had those, oh, can we try and do those now? Can we try and do those now? And they've just constantly been below the watermark. Uh, and it got to the point where we were quite a few months out from launch and it wasn't really fair to have it out there in, the, in a way that we weren't fully happy with, in a way that you guys weren't fully happy with. So we've, we've pulled it. Uh, we've pulled it from those championships where it didn't really make sense, where it was difficult to choose an appropriate car for it. So uh, hopefully that makes it um, a much more enjoyable experience for you guys. Um, uh, the other thing that we need to talk about um, is, is wall riding. So um, those of you who follow Forza Horizon 4 very closely will know that we did turn on the wall riding thing by mistake uh, last month. Um, <laughs> but I mean, that gave us a bunch of interesting data, we which, got a lot from that. which gave us uh, uh, a lot of really, really useful data. Um, and that does mean that uh, the wall riding fix isn't in this update, um, but worry not, because in update nine, we will have um, the wall riding fix and also an all new anti griefing system. Uh, Christian, we'll talk a little about that. Yeah, so we realized that um, the issue isn't just wall riding, there are, there's multiple things that are kind of working together to create the issues online. Um, so we're looking kind of much more high level at um, an anti-griefing system. So we're looking at kind of the, the relative speeds between cars and how we can ghost cars to alleviate some of the huge collisions that occur um, alongside wall riding as well. Mm. And, and specifically collisions that are, that are intended to force another player into yeah. out of yeah. a check dive yeah. Them, yeah. into a wall or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Um, yeah, so any kind of um, collision that we, we deem to be griefing mm. um, will be trying to go, ghost the, the, the car to stop that collision happening. Yeah. Yes, okay. So more on that, obviously, when we have it. More on that next update. Uh, yeah, so I, I can only apologize that you guys have been waiting this, for this for a while now. Um, uh, it's, these things can be very, very complicated, and it's very frustrating for us as well. Um, but update nine, uh, I hesitate to say I promise. Um, <laughs> I, I would hesitate as well. Yeah. <laughs> but it's absolutely on schedule for update nine, and, and it, it should absolutely be with you uh, in about four weeks' time. Okay, let's chat through some of the other updates and changes coming in update eight. Uh, we have got uh, wheel spacers. So, I should make Chris on for this. Um, so, uh, wheel spacers have been added to 100 uh, new cars. Um, uh, which takes us up to about every car that could reasonably support wheel spaces. Exactly. Um, uh, so that's something that we've, I know a lot of you have been asking for, and well, worry not, uh, we've done it now. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> do you want to head back to the auto show? We'll do the uh, delivery thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because one of the other updates, Matt's going to drive back there, uh, is a new, a new tool in the livery editor. Uh, while Matt's driving there, I'll run through a couple of the other changes. Um, playground games, seasonal events. Uh, the astute, astute players amongst you will have noticed that even though they were best of five, um, which me means once you have three points, it, it should end. Uh, you'd have noticed that it didn't, uh, which created the really frustrating scenario where you win the first three games and then um, and then you have you have everyone else quits on the other team, and you're just left with one guy on the other team just like hanging out and be like, hey, let's let's just keep playing playground games for 11 minutes. Well, we've um, had that, so that's we've had that fix ready for a while, right? Yeah. So we, before we released uh, seasonal playground games, that fix was actually already ready. But it was in a lot of the files that um, uh, Drift Adventure. Was Drift, Drift Adventure, Adventure uses. Yeah. So we, it was too risky to <laughs> pull those out of Drift Adventure um, uh, with, without accidentally releasing Drift Adventure, which, as you'll know, we have a habit of accidentally releasing things early. <laughs> so we're trying to stop doing that. <laughs> trying to stop doing that. We, we held back slightly on that fix. Let's take a look so, at... So, Mike, shall I hand over to you and uh, can you explain yes, what yeah, we yeah, Let me just here. quickly change um, to a... Here's one I made earlier. Um, this guy. So, yes, so... Uh, fans of our livery editor, fans of photo editing packages more generally, um, if you're a fan of photo editing packages, you'll, you'll know about layer masks. If you're a fan of our livery editor, you've probably been asking for layer masks. Uh, this is something which, I suppose on the face of it, can feel like a small change, um, but in reality is a... Oh, that's not what I thought I was going to have. Um, I bet I've saved over it. Okay, <laughs> not what I expected. Oh, uh, <laughs> well, we can actually see it there. Um, yes, so here you can see that I have... Let me just delete it. Yeah, remove that layer and then yeah. put it back in. 
Um, right. There you go. So I have added loads of decals to my bonnet here on my uh, brand new uh, AMG Mercedes uh, GT4, um, which is one of the reward cars this month. Right. Right. Do you remember where, do you remember where you get it? Oh, I think it was in summer. Okay. <laughs> yes, uh, fifty percent in summer, right? <laughs> yes. Um, so what layer mask to do? If you've ever used Photoshop, you'll be well familiar with these because they've been in Photoshop for about fifteen years. But um, <laughs> in our liver editor, they have not. So all you need to do is add a layer and you apply a mask shape. And then you can add a, effectively a layer mask in any of these shapes at all. Um, so you've probably, I've given you a spoiler really because you kind of know what I'm going to do because I've only just deleted it. But if you grab, for example, race dude here um, and then move him down to the bonnet, what this allows you to do is basically cut through all of those layers uh, right down to the paint. So you can have any paint on the car that you want, and then you can take a complex shape such as this one and use it as a stamp to cut through all of the other layers right down to the paint. Um, so if I just rotate him around so he looks cool. Um, you can, obviously if you're more artistic than me, you'll be able to do great things with this. Uh, you click OK, and then that cuts straight through. And the great thing about this is that if I back out, I can now change the body paint underneath that and have it come straight through all of those layers. Something that if you'd wanted to do previously, it would have been hours and hours and hours of meticulous work and meticulous placing of tiny little decals to make that shape out of the body color paint. Uh, what it also allows you to do is uh, use like the special paint colors, uh, which again, you basically would never have been able to um, do stickers with, with these ones. So you can have basically the, you know, the, uh, the sort of concept car camo prints, um, the chrome coming through it if you like, or the, the gold. Um, to create those kind of complex shapes with our livery editor and have the, the paint, the paint, the paint color coming through would have been incredibly difficult. So um, can't wait I, to see what people do with this. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It, 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 if you're not versed in our livery editor or <laughs> photo editing packages more generally, this might look like a really small thing. But uh, I can assure you, for those guys that spend a lot of time there, this is gonna this is gonna really make their lives a hell of a lot easier. So um, yes, I hope you enjoy it, and I can't wait to see what you do with while it. I'm doing this, Torben. Uh, yes. Do you want to talk us through? Um, What's coming up in Update 9? Absolutely. So uh, one of the really big cool things in Update 9 is yet another take on how to play online adventures. Uh, tentatively titled Custom Adventure. It's a way for you basically to go in and specify what car class and what type of racing you want to do and then be match made with other people who want to do that as well. So if you just have a, a desperate hankering for some S2 dirt racing, well, I'm sure there are other people out there who, who would love to do that as well. So sign up for it and uh, and actually try it out. Uh, that's uh, lined up for Series 9. Uh, still work in progress. Uh, who knows, we may be dropping by the, the Discord to chat a little bit about that. I'm but, sure. uh, well. um, it's, uh, I mean, it's, it, it's all part of just trying to be responsive to what we're seeing and slot things into the game that, that makes sense. As you mentioned, Mike, uh, this concept of, 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 of the high watermark things that we can fit into an update, things that we can't. So, um, Series 9, uh, we'll be talking more about that uh, uh, in social media and up towards uh, the, uh, the video, uh, the, the live stream for that. Um, just a little bit careful that I don't uh, accidentally say anything that I shouldn't say <laughs> about the update after the update that we've actually got yeah, in front of sorry. us here. But just kind of summarizing this, it's uh, uh, a new swathe of activities in festival playlists, uh, a new way to um, a new way to paint cars, uh, an entirely new kind of adventure that's just super focused on drifting and going sideways on a bunch of fun, awesome tracks throughout the game.